Our journey with my tubular myopathy began when we were found out we were pregnant with twins, a boy and a girl, and then early in the pregnancy they thought something was wrong with Lily. And when I had my C-section, Lily came out and everything was perfect, she was crying, we were happy with everything, and then when Cooper came out, there was just kind of like a hush. And they rushed Cooper over. And saw a blur running out of the room. and. We didn't know that they were doing compressions. Yeah, they were trying to get him to breathe and realize that his airway was just completely, didn't really have an airway. I mean, it was just. He looked like flesh filled with jello. He had no muscle tone. He was just contracted into these teeny tiny things. And like we said, he, you couldn't tell if he was on his stomach or his back because of the way he was contorted, essentially. Looks like you can have him for a year, maybe through childhood. That's about it. And so after that, we kind of were on a mission to figure out how that was not going to be our case and we were going to live a long and happy life with him. Do everything we possibly can to give Cooper the most normal life that, you know, that he deserves. Getting up, doing trait care, doing breathing treatments, doing cough assist, and getting him dressed and getting all of his equipment transferred from home to mobile onto his chair. We take him, get him on the bus. He loves the bus ride and getting on the lift. And then getting to school and just starting his day with his friends and classmates. These kids know him and I can imagine it, how intimidating it is to see this monstrosity of a wheelchair coming at you with this kid with tubes and hooked up to him and machines going off and alarming and it doesn't phase these kids at all. They are all just his buddies and walk down the hallway and hey Coop and he likes to just be everybody's pal, and it's pretty cute with that. My biggest fear with Cooper is him not being happy. He gets frustrated. It's hard for him sometimes that we don't know what he wants or he can't communicate as well. He has every reason to play the woe is me, and he certainly doesn't at all. Ever since this terrible diagnosis that we weren't gonna do this or that or you know, make it to one, we've, our nine, we've traveled, we've done great things. It's not ideal for your child to have a disease, but I'll be forever thankful. It sounds weird and obviously if I could have him healthy and everything I would, but we've learned this outlook of life and we are able to look at things differently and be thankful for things that we never thought we would be thankful for. So. It's been eye-opening, but I wouldn't change anything for the world.